Target, Forever 21, H&M. All fantastic stores for affordable fashion, but just because you bought it on the cheap doesn't mean you have to look it. We invited Sam Sabora, style expert and host of TLC's Something Borrowed, Something New, to our Yahoo Studios in New York for signs those inexpensive garments just scream cheap. Plus, how to pick out low price clothes with an upscale flair. Sam, thanks so much for joining us. I'm excited to be here and talk about some inexpensive fashion. Yes, and especially you, because you've worked with stars ranging from Sarah Jessica Parker to Cindy Crawford to Jen Aniston, Channing Tatum, clearly people who have bigger budgets. So what would you say is a telltale sign that the garment you're about to purchase is actually pretty cheap looking. So the first thing you want to look at is the lining of a jacket. If you open that up, you can see that this jacket is not lined. It's very thin. Yeah, and you know, sometimes a designer will do that on purpose to give it a soft look, but in this case, an unlined jacket is gonna wear out a little bit faster, mm -hmm. it's gonna cause your clothing to wrinkle, it's gonna lose its shape a little bit faster, and it's not gonna have as much structure. Telltale sign number two that a garment is veering towards the cheap side is shine. And now this number is Kind of reflecting the light a little yes, too much. Yes, when you're at the club and you can see that girl coming a mile away, <laughs> probably not the top you want to be wearing. Yeah. Shiny fabrics are made of polyesters and unnatural fabrics, so not only do they make you sweat, but that extra shine amplifies whatever mm. it's on. It reflects light, it makes you look fuller. Nobody wants to look fuller. No. Um, it's also a giveaway of the quality of your garment. Silks and satins, a lot more expensive looking. You know, you don't have to spend that kind of money, but you do want to look for things that are more matte and maybe even darker in tone, because that cuts down on the shine. Okay, now moving on to accessories. Now, I'm all for, you know, Know, costume jewelry, but there's a wrong way and a right way, and this is a wrong way. Yes, do a little bit extra work. Do not look for those super bright details that really give away that this almost looks like plastic that's been sprayed metallic. Some of the biggest celebrities in the world love an inexpensive jewelry find, but we don't do it in this bright, bright tone. That's a giveaway that this piece is probably way too inexpensive. Look for oxidized silvers, deeper gold tones that look richer and more expensive. All right, Sam, and just like faux jewelry, you're not against faux leather, but you say watch out for a few things. Absolutely. Leather is a huge trend item. This is faux leather, but there are different worlds of faux leather, as you can see and smell. This is a stinker. Yes, most faux leathers are made of polyurethane, so it's really unnatural. Yeah. So you're investing about 50 bucks in this. It's not really worth it if you can spend another $50 to get a great jacket like this one. This is a soft, cozy, natural-looking faux leather. So, great. so invest in faux leather, but invest the same way you would in real leather and take a look at all the details. All right, finally, Sam, denim. You don't have to splurge, but you have to watch out for some things. Absolutely. Look at all the unnatural fading and whiskering and treatment of this denim. Real denim is made with indigo, so it breaks down to your body naturally. It fades at the wallet, at the knee, at the thigh. You want to look at those telltale signs and make sure it doesn't look too white or too fake. It shouldn't look like an artist made your jeans. It should look like you wore them in naturally. This is a natural indigo denim that is, you know, a little less bright, a little less faux when it comes to fading, and they weren't really expensive. And there you have it. The look of luxury does not have to break the bank. And for more of Sam's savvy picks, be sure to check out the article below today's video. For Yahoo Finance, I'm Farnish Tarabi.